What's up guys, it's Henry from the PSI Defense Channel coming to you with another video. And as promised, I have the gavel here loaded with five Jewel V2s, a uh, 12 gram threaded CO2, and I'll be doing uh, some firing tests and just getting some um, FPS numbers, then you guys know what kind of jewels it's hitting. Um, I did find that if you drop a little oil on the threads and on the top, the very top, it is good to put a drop of oil on top of your CO2s, but also put some on the threads and it pierces a lot easier. It, it twists, the CO2 twists a lot easier after I did that. So I recommend doing that. Uh, what this is, this is a 16 gram CO2. Um, it, Kurt provides several uh, 12 gram CO2s when you buy a gavel. And uh, I was assured that the 16 grams will also fit. So I'll be testing that out for you guys today. All right, there you go. Not a super loud click. 312. Two ninety. Two seventy four. Not very much FPS drop in the gavel, which is surprisingly uh, good. Two sixty six. Two fifty four. There we go. All right, so not a bad spread there. All right, so not a bad spread. Watch out when you unscrew your CO2 because there still is a little bit of pressure after five shots. And I have been hearing a lot of people saying that, you know, well, it's only five shots. You need to take these Allen keys, so forth and so on. Um, FSC is a lot easier to reload, carries more mags, all of which is true. However, if you've ever tried to carry an FSC, uh, you will quickly find out that you need a different solution, let alone something concealable. Now I'm still waiting on my, I'm still waiting on my um, Kydex holster and laser tack light. But just to show you guys, very concealable. I don't, I don't even know what that looks like, but I know it, it's comfortable. And I got the big gut. It's probably sticking out a little bit right there, but. I'm not sure if that's showing too much, but I know if I had an FSC, it not only would be very uncomfortable, but very bulgy. And that actually doesn't feel bad right there at all. That doesn't feel bad there at all. So, all right, let me grab my rounds and then I'll test out the 16 gram CO2. All right, so you don't really have to tighten this super tight. Just make sure the cap doesn't fly off. As I showed you guys before, I did super glue that follower on there, or hot glue that on there, making sure not to have any overlap or excess so it wouldn't get caught up when it's going into there. I usually just have to twist it and pull it out. All right, five Jewel V2s. I'm just being extra cautious not to cross thread that. All right, there we go. Boom. All right. Now I've got my 16 gram CO2s. Alright, appears to be 
pierced. Ten. It was louder. Two ninety two. Two eighty two. Two sixty eight. Two fifty four. No, let me see if I can get any more shots in with that 16 gram CO2. I might not be, no, I can't take the, uh, the cap off. As you can see, there's a lot more shots left in here, but Again, just be cautious when you unscrew this. All right, everyone, here's some ballistics numbers for the gavel. As you can see with the 12 gram CO2, it starts out just a little bit faster at 312. We're getting 36 joules down to 24 joules, which is a really great spread. And if you look over at 16 gram CO2, it's real similar. Um, you start out at almost 36 joules, 35.7 joules, and you end up with the same 24 joules. Now I will mention that 36 to 24 is very effective um, at pain compliance in stopping an individual or uh, defending yourself. Um, five shots in most scenarios is plenty. Um, most of the time when you're carrying FSCs, you rarely will have enough time or will you even have an extra mag on you um, so the fact that it's very concealable, very comfortable to wear, and you're getting 36 to 24 joules, which is about what you're shooting uh, a standard FSC with a Lapco uh, 5.12 inch rifle barrel. Um, you're, you're getting about these same uh, numbers here. Uh, what's interesting, uh, in the 12 gram compared to the 16 gram CO2, uh, the average power for 12 gram is 29.14 joules across five shots. And the average power for 16 gram is only 29.54 joules, uh, which is a very negligible increase. Um, same with uh, FPS loss. I thought maybe this might be where um, the 16 gram shines, uh, but it only got 0.5 feet per second, uh, a half a foot per second, um, uh, less speed loss than the 12 gram. So um, what Kurt said was true. He said uh, 16 gram really doesn't make a huge difference. And the more uh, CO2 you're putting into your gavel, the harder it is to control because it is a regular, uh, it is a regulatorless design. Um, he just has a small restrictor pin in there, but essentially it's regulated by the amount of CO2 pressure going into the gavel itself. Um, so <clears throat> as you can see, uh, 16 gram really doesn't make a huge difference. I think when uh, we increase the size of the air chamber, then we may have uh, some gains there. But for now, the stock gavel, just go with the 12 gram or go whichever one is less expensive. Um, I would just say go with the 12 gram. Make sure you drop a little bit of oil on the threads and on the very top when you screw it in um, from time to time. And your gavel should be running great. Grimberg gavel. I really love it. I really love the stern trigger. I love the feel of it. It's going to be very easy to conceal. You can either do this. Smaller your back. Definitely sure it's going to be comfortable once I get it in to the Kydex holster and just have it right here. Ohio is an open carry state, so I don't have any fret about open carry, but my FSC is just so uncomfortable, it's just not practical to carry around. The gavel, on the other hand, is I was actually looking for replacement Glock sights for this, but to be quite honest with you, 
the sight picture from the stock Glock sights is just so good. Let's see if I can get that in there. Yeah, I don't even really need to get another uh, set of sights or fiber optic sights or expensive uh, tritium night sights, especially once I get that um, Viridian laser tech light on here. Uh, the Glock sights are really good. Just put that dot in the U-channel and there you go. Grimberg gavel, I I'm really a fan. So far so good with me. I'm gonna of course be getting this boom treated and seeing how, um, see if I gain some FPS, if, see if I gain some um, efficiency, uh, but we do have some other tricks up our sleeve. Uh, as far as modifying it. I'm not going to go too far because I do want to keep this compact. That's the whole point of it. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Till next time, make sure you guys be safe, responsible with your less lethal, and always take care of yourselves and each other. Show some love today, y'all. Peace out.